Yeah, where with women, it's like, you know, with, with chicks, you a girl could not really be attracted to a guy, but he can build mm-hmm. from there. Like, he could prove himself, right. he could show he has But with a girl, she he, can't, though. Like, if he's not attracted yeah. to her, then he's just not attracted to her. A chick could initially have 50% interest in a guy. And from that mm-hmm. 50%, he can take that, make the right moves, you know, flake on her, not call her back on time, uh, not show up for dates, you know, have a good job, whatever, prove he's financially secure. And that 50% can jump to 60, 70, 80, 90, even 100, where he can end up getting her. Where if a guy starts with a chick at 50% attraction, like he's only 50% attracted to her, that's never going to mm-hmm. change. She gets a better job. She gets a better looking boyfriend. She, you know, it's, it's, that's the way he feels is 50%. It's never going to move past that. Where women yeah. actually get yeah. over that. Like women, if you prove yourself again, if you prove yourself and you're at 50% attraction, you could, you could boost that by making the right move. I, I, I would like to have, no, I'll, I'll, I'll disagree with you, okay. um, on some level no, because there have been guys that I've known that, you know, I've put them in the front zone and I put them in the front zone for a reason. And, mm-hmm. you know, when a guy is in the front zone, you don't really have a lot of respect for his time, <laughs> as horrible as that sounds. But right. um, at the same time, even if they do prove themselves as, like, you know, as actual guys, you'll see them differently. You'll have a lot more respect for them. You'll want to hang out with them. You'll want to spend time with them. But, and again, I can't speak on behalf of all women. I'm speaking on behalf of myself. Um, right. But when I'm not attracted to a guy, I'm just kind of not attracted to him. There's really not much that, you know. Well, you you that. say that, but it's I'm going to, I mean, dis- I'm going to, no, I'm going to disagree with you there because you say 9% of those guys don't know what it takes to get out of the friend zone. They don't have the balls to get out of it because a lot of those guys who are in the friend zone, and I tell guys this, you're in the friend zone because you put yourself there. It's your own fault that you're in the friend zone because you were too much of a pussy, you were too nice, you returned all our calls, you made yourself too available, you made all the wrong moves that put you in the friend zone. Um, yeah. And in order to get out of the friend zone, and most guys are in the friend zone because they are nice guys. You know, they're genuinely nice guys. Uh, mm-hmm. in, in order to get out of the friend zone, what these guys would need to do is do the exact opposite of what they did to get into the friend zone. So they would need to start, you know, proving themselves to you somehow, some way. And they're already stuck way back there in the friend zone. I mean, it's possible to do it. Not, but However, 99% of them don't have uh, not only the balls, but the knowledge and the experience to get out. 